fuck? Hold it. <gasps> well, where did you just fire? Stop. Don't shoot. Wait, I'm not here to fight. My name is Harry Mason. I'm in town on vacation. Thank God, another human being. Okay. Do you work here? I'm Dr. Michael Kaufman. I work at this hospital. So maybe you can tell me what's going on. I really can't say. I was taking a nap in the staff room. When I woke up, it was like this. Everyone seems to have disappeared. This music it's is so strange. This time of year. Something's gone seriously wrong. Did you see those monsters? <laughs> Have you ever seen such aberrations? Ever even heard of such things? <laughs> you and I both know creatures like that don't exist. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl anywhere? I'm looking for my daughter. She's only seven. Short, black hair. She's missing. I'm sorry. But with all those monsters around, I highly doubt that she's... Damn. Okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you. Your wife. She's here with you. She died four years ago. Now it's just me and my daughter. I see. I'm sorry. Well, I'd better be going. I can't just sit around here doing nothing. So long. Good luck out there. I, I learned so little. <laughs> like, I don't know what's happening still. I guess that's just the Silent Hill way. Vinny, I'm watching this in 360p so I can run a game too and it looks the same as it would in 1080p. Yeah, but you won't get the crispy pixels and the dithering. Like, the dithering's gonna be a little blurry when you can get the dither nice and sharp. Just saying. Um, there's a newspaper. This article's been clipped out. Vinny, get the hospital map. That's- that's the idea. Huh. There's a whiteboard, nothing special's written here. Okay, yeah, we, we should go back and try to look for the map. In my head, this dude sounds like Ethan from, uh... What game is it? Heavy Rain. Wait for your death, son! I don't know why, it's just like, I see the character, I think, Ethan. Oh, there we go. Phone's out, can't get a dial tone. Caught you sounding like one. Try this way first. Back here. Vinny, stop doing that. What? Drinking my hot chocolate? You 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 dare deny me 
a small amount of enjoyment that I have in my life. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, here's what I can do. I can mute when I drink the hot chocolate. How's that sound? Yeah, I'm on a hot chocolate kick now, but it will eventually be tea again. I, I kind of just wait for the weather to get cold before I do the tea reviews. There's a whiteboard, but nothing special on here. What if your slurps are a someone's fetish? Well, now you've definitely inspired me to mute. Hospital basement map, okay. Fun fact, the voice actors were always alone when they recorded their lines, so they had no context. I like that it sounds so stilted. The beginning of Eternal Darkness, when the detective comes to the house and he's like, you know, talking to Alex Royvas and he's all like, yo, your grandfather's dead. Faza, your grandfather is dead. Like, he's got the same kind of thing. I'm wondering how intentional that was. It's just, like, a really bizarre character that shows up at the beginning of the game. The rest of the dialogue in the game isn't quite like that, but it's totally Lynch. And just really stilted and weird. Plastic bottle. Okay, I think I know what I have to do with this. Refrigerator is empty. I've been informed. Someone said, why chat? Well, I needed that information to be, um, so we can get the good ending, or the the, can the canonical ending, without any spoilers. I've I've been informed. Cannoli ending. Yo, I was at uh, I was in Little Italy not that long ago, and I saw the Cannoli King, and I didn't buy a cannoli, and I'm like kind of pissed at myself. Did you at least offer tribute? I paid the tithe. To the Cannoli King? Yes. Wait, so I have to use this plastic bottle on... In... Uh... Okay. I thought it was the other puddle that was earlier. Didn't mute. Dude, there's no way you heard that. That was silent. That was the most silent sip. God damn it. Silent Sip is also the sister series to Silent Hill. Oh, it's this disgustingness. Glass vial lies shattered. It's not just broken, it looks smashed on purpose. Well, that's a clue. The remaining liquid is emptied into the plastic bottle. Oh, what have we here?
books are scattered around the desk. Nothing else is special here. But I want to read that open book. Okay, chat. Let's see if this works. I'm going to mute now. You didn't hear shit. Here's what you did here. You heard that. That was my slide for my guitar, which is basically just a metal tube, a short metal tube that as I put the cup down, it rolled into the glass, into the mug. There's a vending machine. It doesn't work. Vinny, why are you drinking through your slide? <laughs> it's like a massive straw that fits on your finger. It's cool. And if the band you're in starts playing different tubes. Disgusting. Oh, that's a fun room. Let's go into the mor- oh, not yet. Okay. Well, I like this noise. It makes me feel comfortable. So what is this? In-house power ge um, generator. In-house- Generator powers, elevators, ICUs, and operating rooms only. I'm gonna press the switch, yeah. Some really fucking crungy textures. They went to Google before Google and they typed grunge texture. Crunch texture free 1999, exactly. If you just stack the grunge textures, you can create your own grunge texture. It's true. What is the room from The Shining? It's- it's room... Two, three, four? Two- room- why don't I remember? How do I not know this? It's one of my favorite movies and I always forget the- it's 237. 237. Which is the exact distance from the Earth to the moon. So it's like, Stanley Kubrick is admitting that he did the moon landings. It's 217 in the book. That's one of the pieces of evidence that Stanley Kubrick um, hid his moon message in the movie because he changed it from the Stephen King book. But I've said it before, I just love the, the creepy vibe and the uh, isolation of uh, The Shining. It's a really disturbing movie psychologically and otherwise, but it specifically does very well at making you uncomfortable through its weird location. 
In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some influence from The Shining in this. Someone said, yeah, but the ghost opens the cooler. There is a video of a dude that gives... I forget the channels, um, I forget the, the name of the channel. There's a fourth floor? The dude, um, gives an analysis of how- Oh god, I missed the four. How did I miss the four? He gives an analysis of how, like, three or four different ways in which Jack was able to escape the cooler. That it is not a paranormal reason. They're not great reasons. But it's something. Oh, fuck. Rob Ager is the name of the channel. Wait, the four wasn't there before? Do I Am I going crazy? Sip times two. Did I not mute? I thought I muted that. The sips. Am I going crazy? I thought I muted the sips. I bet the sniffles during the VR stream last week were really good. But people were really loving that. If you like, uh, hot chocolate, you should try my crystal head chocolate. Oh, you'd love it. Assuming the d door behind me was locked. Yeah. What is this fucking place? Plate of turtle. Okay. I love getting. I... No. I was gonna say, I love having no idea what items I'm picking up, or what they're for. But that's most games, so... I guess this counts as a... Yeah. Well, so here's the linen room. Here are some dryers. Useless now. <laughs> Look at this fucking dialogue. What's a hospital doing with this catwalk like this? Try the other rooms first before I do this. Oh. 
Shotgun shells. VCR. It's old, but usable. Fixed by lightning-fast VCR repair. Cage, it's empty. It's bad on my rage. Gonna go blow for blow. There's a chat member that said that the pipe was good for the nurses. And now I'm like just about dead. Oh god. I mean, maybe I just did it wrong. Is that a fucking sickle? Oh no, that's just some, like, scrunchy pipe. Or something. Steel plate is screwed to the wall. Um... Trying to make s very little noise, like no noise, in fact. Because I want the atmosphere to be good. I don't want people to hear me sip, gulp, scratch, scrunge, uh, nothing. I'm just making up words tonight that sound like the word grunge. Look at the wall. This wall? Or was there a wall in here? Doesn't this wall look like the Mothman? Jeff, get some sleep. <laughs> Today was gonna be the day they were gonna throw it back to you. Apparently, uh, Wonderwall hit a billion plays or a billion streams or something. I, I can't believe how fucking popular that song- that pop- how popular that song still is. Why? It's a catchy song. I don't know, it just has a- I mean, I was alive when the song first came out, and I remember it just being, like, very overplayed. But I didn't mind it so much because it was a good song, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Bottle filled with some kind of drug. Better leave it. We could just take that instead. Is it- it's easy to learn on guitar? I think you need a capo for it, but it's not too hard to learn. Blood pack. Um... I think it just is something about it. It's just catchy. It has a good vocal performance, unless you hate Liam's voice, in which case it's shite. But... Just fucking very, very catchy song. And here's the trick. The words mean almost nothing. So you can make it mean whatever you want. Someone said Morning Glory is a much better song. I like Morning Glory. I like, um, some might say, even more. I like drywall. Speaking of walls. It's a 
Some might say what? Oh, uh, that sunshine follows thunder. Okay, what's this now? Plate of cat. Wonder if the turt plate goes in here. Let's try it. Okay. There's a, a sound, a, an instrument in um, Station to Station that sounds a little bit like this. Does a similar thing. Vim, what'd you think of Mouth Dreams? It was excellent. Vinny, do you like tzatziki dip? Is that for, like, um, Greek food and stuff? Like the white sauce? Yeah, it's good. Oh, I did miss a room. Cool flesh elevator. Paul Blart Flesh Vader. Wait, that sounds like a Star Wars thing. Never mind. I'm sorry, it's just when buildings are made of meat, I can't help but think about Paul Blart and his flesh mall. I'm sorry. I just I wish. Someone in chat said, I'll never understand your love of Oasis. I felt like Oasis and Tool likes heralded the death of good alternative music, but that's just opinions, man. I think, um... Well, I don't love Oasis. I like them because I like a good... I'm a sucker for a good pop song. And I'm sorry to say this, but, you know, they're, they're good pop rock. And Tool is a great band, too. But if they're clones... Ruined a genre, which I don't agree with entirely. That doesn't kill the initial ban for me. Someone said, I love pop rocks. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Vinny, have any non-English music you like? Um, Bjorn Olsen. Um, Pescado Rabioso. Uh, lots of video game music. Sigur Ross. Rammstein, stuff like that. Not too much, though. I, a lot of classical, though. Oh! What the fuck kind of hospital is this? Christ. Well, this goes back down to the basement. I don't know. Vinny, would you lick that wall? No! No, meat tetanus. Nope. Pretty good.
Does this dude not properly fucking die? Oh, there's several. Stomp on it? Uh, it wouldn't let me before I tried. Wait, I only have five bullets? Oh, I don't want to use my shotgun then. Wait, stock. How many bullets do I have? I have 170. 47. Oh, I have 47 shotgun shells. Alright, I'm good. Oop, that was a waste of a shotgun shell. Vinny, how sticky do you think Harry is right now? Like, Evil Dead Ash, uh, sticky, probably. I head to the basement now. Vinny, do you like Bjork? I think I like the idea of Bjork more than I like Bjork's music, but I've heard some good Bjork songs. But not- a, I haven't heard enough- I haven't heard enough Bjork. So I, I would love to continue answering music questions, but I also want to kind of immerse myself in the game a little bit, so this is, I can't do Q&A right now. Thank you, though. is laid out on the bed. Don't feel like checking this out. It smells wonderful down here, guaranteed. Yeah, I can imagine this being pretty, like, insane. Like, playing this when it, like, first came out. Uh, the effect is lost on me a little bit because I've played games influenced by Silent Hill. I've played Silent Hill 2. It's the Seinfeld effect, once again. The oft-discussed, uh, Seinfeld effect. Oh yeah, no, this is still great. It still has a great atmosphere, it still does what it does very well. But I can't imagine, like, being, like, 13, 14 years old and playing this game. I kinda wish I could go back in time and just hand myself a copy. And be like, play this real late at night. Alone. This is not as spooky for me now, having played lots of games like this. 
and it's not as spooky also because like I have chat here and stuff. But if I played this alone when I was a kid at night, oh boy. I just want to scare the shit out of myself as a kid, that's all. Forgot to mute, sorry. Oh dear lord. This is down here. It's powerful. Is there a way to jump backwards while holding this? Or is that not with this weapon? Because you can, like, kind of jump backwards with some weapons. Not with the hand. Oh, oh, you can, you can. You just can't be aiming it. You just have to let go for a second and then press backwards. So the thing that scared the hell out of me as a kid was, um, my cousin and his friends went to, like, an abandoned hospital, and they filmed a video of it. And it was... incredibly frightening. And, um... When they were leaving, there was a light on, like, in one of the top rooms that wasn't on before. I don't know if it was someone fucking with them, or them fucking with, with the person filming, or whatever, but it was scary. And, uh, it looked a little bit like this. Just picture... Abandoned hospital, um... Not meat. It wasn't like rusty meat or anything, but... Yeah, they heard some stuff that was probably just animals, but it scared them nonetheless, and that was all caught on video. And I remember I even had trouble watching the video. I was way too young to be- I was like eight. And here I am watching this fucking disturbing... Like, a urban... not urban exploration, what would you call it? Like, abandoned... exploration? Trespassing. That's the way... <laughs> right, correct. Yes? But you can look up, um... You know, Staten Island has some really fucked up, like, history. Like, we've got a lot of ghost stuff here. Whether you believe it or not, there's a lot of reports, let's say. There's a lot of, uh, abandoned places that have, um, scare factor. Yes, ghosts. Um... I've even, every Halloween, I, I tend to, like, I did a ghost program for my, uh, public access thing, and I used Castlevania music. I'm not gonna show it again, but it's on full sauce somewhere. Heard anything interesting about Heart Island? Isn't that the island they sent, like, the diseased people to? Unmarked graves, yeah. Oh. Oh. 
Man, every game needs a giant hammer like this. What's the scariest moment in recent memory that a game has given you? Yesterday. The Grim Reaper's list. Lydia Findlay, Trevor F. White, Albert Lords, Roberta T. Morgan, Edward C. Briggs. Uh, thank you, Grim Reaper. What's scarier, abandoned prisons or abandoned hospitals? I think James and Mike went to, uh, an abandoned prison in Pennsylvania. I forget the name of it, but it's- it's pretty fucked. I think I- they invited me to go to that, too, and I- I didn't take it. I didn't go, because I was, uh, not in town, and I was a bitch baby. Eastern State? Yeah, I think it was Eastern State Penitentiary, sure. Yeah. She uses tangerines. Clouds flowing over a hill. Sky on a sunny day. Tangerines that are bitter. Lucky four-leaf clover. Violets in the garden. Dandelions along a path. Unavoidable sleeping time. Liquid flowing from a slashed wrist. Yes. Four square indentations on the door. One, two, three. I'm gonna go that way. Let's try rooms two hundred two to two hundred four first. Yeah, uh, we have cool trespassing. I mean, urban exploration here on Staten Island, um, like that you can go to, and there's lots of spooky ghost stories and all that fun stuff. So that's um, we don't have much compared to the other boroughs of New York City, but we got that. So I guess it's just tentacles now. Okay. Like, art. I wonder if, um, like, city apartment buildings, you know, they have a lot of history. A lot of people die in them, because it's a city. It's densely packed. There's, like, hundreds of years of history. How haunted are those? Why is it always a spooky house? House. Housed. Um... Well, it could be blood. It could be the fluid that I got. Likes that blood. I guess the hint is kind of obvious now in retrospect.
Yeah, do I have to mute the tentacles for slurping, chat? I wouldn't want anyone to feel mildly uncomfortable. If you, it's true, if you add extra syllables to the word, you can sound like a real asshole. Clouds flowing over a hill. In a sunny day, tangerines that are bitter. Lucky four-leaf clover, violets in the garden, down lines along a path, unavoidable sleeping time. Liquid flowing from a slashed wrist. flowing over a hill. The sky on a sunny day. I kind of understand. I don't know if I'm... I'd probably have to, like, read the rest of it, but I'm just gonna take a quick, like, ballpark guess. The old college try. Failure. Clouds flowing over a hill. Oh, the white has to flow over the... I see. Sky on a sunny day. Tangerines that are bitter. Lucky four-leaf clover. Violets in the garden. Ten lines along a path. flowing over a hill. Sky in a sunny day. Lucky four-leaf clover, violets in the garden. So the green would be at the bottom, near the violet. Down the lines, and then... Unavoidable sleeping time. What the fuck? Liquid flowing from a slashed wrist. I just have to put them in the right spot, right? It's not like the order of which I put them in. Vin, you're overthinking it. No, I'm- I'm underthinking it. Sky on a sunny day. Tangerines that are bitter. 
sticky four leaf clover. What's in the garden? The other lines along the path. I don't know if I will sleep with them. Dandelions are yellow, right? That looks like a path to me. Maybe just switch. Hmm. Tangerines that are bitter. I think I know what, what I need to do. I figure, you know, what flows out of the wrist? Blood, right? Unavoidable sleepy time could be. Unavoidable sleepy time is just the sun being up. Unavoidable. Wait, wait, no? Huh? I don't know what that means. Uh, uh sorry. Wait, wait, just. Wait. Just, uh, I got this. <laughs> so, clouds. Sky. Oh, orange. Green. Violet. Yellow. Death. Liquid. Oh, I thought I had, like, I thought the liquid flowing was the, the slashed wrist was, like, orange from, like, uh, I don't know, chat, dumb. I got it now. So, white. Blue, maybe. No, yellow. So, yellow. Yellow, green. Y yeah, wait, no. B blue, green, green, <laughs> yellow, red. Did I get any of it right? Blue, green, yellow, nope. Cloud. So wait, wait, no, 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 Do you remember when um, Aerosmith Tyler did that in his his uh, thing? I got it now. Blue. Blue, green, yellow, red. It goes, it goes clockwise, because you can tell by the cloud and then the tangerine. Blue, green, yellow, red. And then insta-death. Solve puzzle, instantly die to nurse. Oh. 
discovered. Basement storeroom key. Whoa, heavy industrial. Just record a factory and then throw it into a loop. the best time would be to go to the basement, but we'll get there eventually, so... Just keep doing all this... Disinfecting alcohol, okay. I like how the hammer knocks them back, too. It is a very, very good weapon. Any go back? What did I miss? Did I miss something? I see nothing unusual in here, chat. I've... I don't believe I missed anything. Black market is the bottom left. Like, I don't mind if... If I missed an item, I have no problem. I like to know. Like, if there's anything... Spooky basement again. This time I have to get to the storeroom. Handgun bullets, good. More bullet. That means that there's gonna be some kind of fucked up thing I have to kill. Probably. Maybe. Skid marks from the cabinet being moved. You want to push the cabinet. Vinny, your hot chocolate is getting cold. It's... Pretty much... Yeah, it's kicked. It's kicked, chat.
Nothing special in the box, nothing to worry about. Oh, what's in the box? Looks like a hallway under the grate. Can't move it since the vines have grown around it. Pour disinfecting alcohol on the vines. Damn. Well, that's good. You know? That's a good thing. You want to use your hand sanitizer and be safe. Camera angle. Like extreme camera. Vinny, save game. Where, where is there a save point anywhere near this? I'm assuming find one coming up, but I am not going back. We've come too far now. Probably need a little bit of health. Just a little bit. <sighs> Fucking hell. <sighs> Why? tape. There is a... What's this? There was a, a TV in the regular hospital, I think. Looks like someone's been here. Alessa? So 
Someone in chat just said, Alessa, play Radiohead. Well played. If you watch the tape, you'll die in seven days to die. <laughs> Someone else made a mining joke regarding this weapon. That's the first thing I thought of. a Lord of the Rings ring chat and uh, it was like 20 bucks or so and it, you know it's on a chain it's nice it's it's nothing like crazy but it's a pretty good little replica I like it the one ring and uh, I brought it to the studio today because I I don't know I just I don't know just brought it no, no real reason and, you know, I get bored, so I'm, like, fiddling with it. And I'm, like, you know, tossing it around. And Joe's like, why are you, you know, you're really smeagling that ring right about now. I'm like, yes, yes. And I'm, like, kind of treating this thing like it's actually the one ring. I have it around my neck right now because I'm a fucking nerd. <laughs> Whose finger did you have to bite off to get that ring? Scroto. Oh, that's where the video is, okay. I can't carry the ring, Mr. Scroto, but I can carry you. That's it. What, Sam? If I take another step, this is the farthest outside the Shire Law I've ever been, Mr. Scroto. Like, when- picture Elijah Wood saying, Sam, right? Picture it in your head, and you know the face he's making. Like, you know he's- he's getting real Elijah-y with that face when he says that. Patient room in the second floor basement. Examination room key. Vinny, I just made some hot chocolate. It's the influencer effect. Okay. That's true. But hot chocolate is dope.
here's what I'm going to say as an influencer. I want to influence you all to think for yourselves. To enjoy your lives the way you would, as opposed to a streamer who barely understands life, as Tommy would say. And, uh, think for yourselves. And, uh, be your own person, always. Yes! We are all individuals! Dave says he's going to make some Metamucil. It's the influencer effect. Wait, you're saying that you want to have a nice solid log of the evening? Captain's log. Start date 436644. Creepy face. I think that's just the PlayStation. Finally, someone else who's okay. Who are you? My name's Lisa Garland. What's yours? Harry, Harry Styles. Mason. Harry, tell me what's happening here. Where is everybody? I must have gotten knocked out. When I came to, everyone was gone. It's awful. So you don't know anything either. Great. I just don't get it. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Yeah, a living nightmare. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, black hair, seven years old. A seven-year-old girl. What, she's your daughter? Yes. Yes. A seven-year-old girl. I can't say that I have. I was unconscious all this time. I'm sorry. Why is that the line, chat? That's all right. Do you know anything about all that weird stuff in the basement? No. Why? Is there something down there? You don't know? Don't you work here? He says it a lot. Oh. We're under strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. So I really don't know. What did you say was down there? Well, it's... <clears throat> Damn. Man, he's fucking those sirens are so What's good wrong? at Harry? disturbing people and me. Harry, let me help you. But I suppose that's what they're Harry? designed to do. Was I dreaming? You were too late. It's you. Yes. Dahlia Gillespie. Season of the Witch. Tell me everything you know. What's going on? Darkness. The town is being devoured by darkness. Strength must overcome petty desire, childish sleep talk. I knew this day would come. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. Believe the evidence of your eyes. The other church in this town, that is your destination. This is beyond my abilities. Only you can stop it now. Mm -hmm. Have you not seen the crest marked on the ground all over town? So that's what I saw in the schoolyard. What does it mean? 
It is the mark of Samael. Don't let it be completed. Hey, wait! Okay. Hear a noise. Oh my god. I think it's garbage men. Yeah, 3 a.m. Motherfucking city never sleeps, son. A good sentence that was. Vinny the key. Alright, all right, hang on. I'm sorry, everything just looks like crust. Oh, fuck you, dog. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Did I, um... Did, uh, someone said check the videotape again, but... Like... I don't, I don't really want to. Am I good in this hospital? Like, do I need to continue looking around here? Turns out, all I needed was the hammer. Boom, do, do, do. I can't seem to face up to the facts. There's a uh, really good uh, Mouth Dreams remix. Kill me. That's fine. Ugh. I have to watch Mountains of Madness soon. I've been really dying to watch some good Halloweeny type movies. <laughs> Halloweeny. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's... That's a good one that I need to watch. Mouth of Madness. Oh yeah, Mouth of Mouth... Like, Mouth of Madness, which is what Neil Cesariga's next album is gonna be called, right. So the dogs are a hard counter to the hammer. It's in the mouth of madness. That's the one I need to watch then. It's a Carp- yeah, John Carpenter movie that I haven't seen. Which I should. sound.
No, it's the author, Dean Kuntz. It's it's a reference to him, chat. Not you don't have to post that specific emote in relation to the name of the street. It's it's fine. This is weird. The joystick doesn't work now. I wonder if I've... I don't think I bound it properly, actually. Harry fell? So we gotta find the antique shop. Oh, uh... Antique, I think it says antique up there. Text is real crust, but I can kind of make out the word antique. Just in time, too. My brain was being overwritten. Nice viewers, says chat member. Oh shit, that is nice. That's double nice. Shows close-up of clock. Says there's nothing special about clock. Yet unique asset was created for clock. Really makes you wonder. Do you think Robert Plant is still wondering about everything that glitters and how it's gold? Like to this day, you know, like 50 years after Stairway to Heaven. Do you think, um, anybody remembers What's laughter? This? Harry! Sybil? Oh, I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. It's nuts. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. Hmm. All the roads out of town are blocked. Yeah, that checks Cars out. Cars completely stopped running. The phones and radios are still out, too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. Hmm? 
What about you? Okay. Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. And? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Oh, gibberish. You're fighting meat monsters. Dude. Darkness devouring the town. Must be on drugs. Oh. They sell them to the tourists. Oh. The force still can't figure out who's behind it. Oh. None of our leads have panned out. And the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Oh my god. Hmm. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. Hmm. What's this? Just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. I'm a cop. I should go. No. I'm going. All right. I'll cover you from here. Be careful. No. If anything looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world? It's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? Well, it's a smart question I'm to ask. I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur. Like some kind of hallucination, you know? I have no idea what you're talking about, <laughs> Harry. Oh. Wait, way to win her over, man. I was just wondering. Never mind. Harry. They're putting drugs in the water tired. supply. Yeah, maybe. It's a cool song, too. Just blend up, you know, get get yourself a blender. Industrial size. And just, just throw a couple beavers in there. What's this? Some kind of altar. It looks like for Hogwa gods right, or Homestar Runner. Like it, it looks like a strong man T posing. This is the other church with a wrestling mask. Is that not what that is? Some kind of powder is left in the chalice. I'm telling, it's like a like a wrestler dude with really strong arms. Say, come on, Vahogavakats. Apparently, the fog world and the air siren bad world are supposed to mirror REM and non REM sleep. Interesting. Well, REM. From within your mind, no one else can find the life that you inspire.
That sound effect is unfortunate. There's like a pop in the middle of the effect. Oof. What the? Harry? Are you okay? Harry? Some of this game's soundtrack would make a really good playlist for the next AI dungeon if I do another Halloween AI dungeon. Where am I? Who Where? am I? Lisa? Where am I? Hospital? Answer, Harry. You were having a bad dream. Was I? <coughs> hey. You don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, if you're sure... Lisa, do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, the townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Weird occult stuff. Black magic, that kind of thing. It's the As original use of the word. Away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. The one that Tolkien used. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, <laughs> gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. A cult? <laughs> Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, years ago. Clamentology. People connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. The REM sleep thing speculation. Was that another dream? Fair. Fair enough. Did I pass out again? This is all just going on in my head. Why don't we have voice acting for this? <laughs> I could have had a car accident. I'm lying unconscious. I don't know what's real anymore. Sybil said Cheryl was heading towards the lake. But the road to the lake is blocked. Aren't there any other roads? Lisa would probably know. Sybil. Cheryl. Shepard. The axe sucks. Stick with the hammer. Well, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't like the sound of the axe, um, so that's enough reason for me to not use it. Also, these Dutch angles are getting me sick. No, I mean, like, they're getting me. And, like, sick, bro. Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh, oh, we've entered the nightmare realm. It's here in the town. Jesus Christ. I like what they've done to the town. Public parking, you say? Good airflow? Oh, yeah. No, this town is breezy. No before, now rain. Oh, okay, so it's like going from Blade Runner 2049 to the original. bad. Yeah, this whole grungy pipe fence aesthetic is, uh, very good. Remember, the first time I played a Silent Hill game was last year, so this is still kind of new to me. And it's... It's good. Giga store. Fuck. Wait, I played Silent Hill 2 in 2018? Not last year? Where the fuck does the time go? You ki you've got to be kidding me. Last year you said you didn't want to. Well, I said this year I didn't want to either. You said specifically no Silent Hill last year. <laughs> that was gonna be two years in a row. But by the mercy of my benevolence, I decided that I would, uh... I would like to enjoy a video game. Is 
thing is disgusting. Of course chat would want me to play a game with a big fucking centipede in it. This sounds like a fucking distorted version of the Kirk and Spock fight. And also, yes, a colonoscopy as well. You gotta colonoscopize your mans, chat. Fucking burn it! There's a good Silent Hill mod for Half-Life you should play at some point. Let me guess, it's called Alchemilia? Did not like it. It was okay. It had, again, it, it looked like Silent Hill, felt like Silent Hill, but very confusing, and I, I just got lost a, a bunch. Jesus. <laughs> I don't think Silent Hill did this. Uh, 2, rather. I don't think Silent Hill 2, in my recollection, turned the entire town into a fucking... fence... rust nightmare. It was dark, but it was tamer. Right, right, okay. Rifle shells, nice. This game still has some uniquely fucked up things going for it. Seems like it.
going to save here. Um, it's, it's 20 to yam. Which, if you know how to decipher this dumb language, you know exactly what that means. Yeah, this game is cool. <laughs> Continuing to enjoy it. It's bizarre. And, uh... It holds up. A little slow here and there. And also, you know, you have the dated gameplay. And the tank controls, which I'm used to by now. But... I don't even care about any of that. I'm just enjoying how fucking weird it is and, and, and strange and psychologically disturbing. And, uh... Crungy. Very crungy. Okay, um, that was very interesting. So, fuck. We're gonna do the art. Also, big shout out to the um, playlist people for uh, keeping the playlists updated and appropriate for the season. Let's see. Okay, got a little bit of art tonight for you all. This one's from Alex the Doggo. And here's a 3D shroom. It's kind of almost pogging. <laughs> Good 3D. Appreciate it. Here's one from Itchy Bun. Crochet. Cool. And, uh, nice work with the lighting, too, for the photo. But, yeah. Cool little spooky shroom. Little vampire shroom. Awesome. Triple 65 Forked Tongue made this. Cheers. I'll drink to that, bro. <laughs> Was this when I was advertising the, um, the mug? Yeah, I think it was. Good, good stuff. Heather approved, exactly. Corrupted Heather. Here's one from Valde. And it appears to be art from Death Flush. This was a game I played on Sunday, one of the strange Spooptober games. Also, if you're uh, new to the streams, there's a wealth of Spooptober content. I think you could just type... Full Sauce... Spooptober, maybe? Um, there, maybe there's a, uh... A playlist? Spooptober horror games? Maybe it needs to be updated a bit. Last updated November 1st, but yeah, there's there's some playlists. There's definitely some stuff from last year that I did, including Faith Chapter 2, a lot of puppet combo games, Monstrum, Lost in Vivo, which was really good. My Probably my highest recommendation is Lost in Vivo. So if you want extended Halloween viewing and you didn't catch last year's festivities, um, type Vine Sauce Full Sauce Lost in Vivo, and it's three parts. So, that one's real good. That game was awesome. Alright, um, 